Good evening. How y'all doing? What's happening? What's happening? This video is going to be about the Minneapolis police after the George Floyd protests and marches and they heard talking about we're going to hunting the protesters. You see, not only were they arrogant, and you thought Derek Chauvet and them other three busters, them haters, were just by themselves. Wrong. There's a reason why I defund them, refund them, that the Minneapolis police is garbage and racist. They talking about hunting protesters. Well, if you did your job and you spoke out against police brutality against black people, because we still remember Castillo, we remember black folks being shot and profiled, etc. You wouldn't have this problem. But you have a tendency to want to lynch black folks, to shoot at black folks, to harm black folks. And then you wonder, and then you just somehow want to hunt them and say it and brag and fist pump and get excited because of your racist, systematic, institutionalized agenda. George Floyd has statues everywhere. One of your former cops got a 20 plus year bid and his other cohorts are going to get time as well because of your indiscretion and what you did. It's for the whole world to see. Now it leaks out that you're on tape saying hunting protesters. I'm going to tell many of us, please, like I tell all of them in all these states in America, you work for black people. I know it pains you to have to hear that news. I know it pains you that African-Americans are born and bred in America, though you don't consider black people Americans, but the born and bred here. Hate to break the news to you. If you don't do stupid things, you don't get dumb results. So if you are here lynching and stand on a man's neck for nine minutes plus, what do you think is going to happen? You think people are just going to roll over and turn the other way and act like that didn't happen? You're going to act like you haven't been racially profiling black folks for all this time and you haven't lynched and killed black folks in them streets, you're going to act like that didn't happen. You're going to act like you didn't have one of the most segregated places in all the country. So one thing you learn about Minneapolis is that all due respect and rest and rest in peace to Prince, but Minneapolis ain't like purple rain. There wasn't everybody just coming in there and kumbaya and just turning purple as one because Find out, come to find out, he went through profiling and they did too. A lot of the Minneapolis musicians and all, etc. It just so hasn't been reported because it gets smoothed out. But this is caught on tape. And this is why the funding them is just the start. Please hit the like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, and comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And uh, they don't need to say nothing. They are one of the most embarrassing police forces in this country. And that's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. But they are. Defund, refund. They need to remember, like they all do. They work for black people as well. But they haven't gotten their memo. They never did. They still think of themselves as slave catchers. And that's why, one of the many reasons why there's a big disdain and lack of respect. Because they don't do their job and they don't respect people who look Black. That's a fact. I'm out.